Hi, this is the EEG guy with a second video on explanation of the anatomy of the brain and correlating it with the electroneurodiagnostic and EEG field. As you see here, what they call this is homunculus. And there are two of them that we have. One on the frontal lobe, which at the back portion of the frontal lobe, the red area, that would be this laid out with a big face and a big area for the hand a smaller area for a leg, a small area for tongue and pharynx. In any regard, because the motor representation lays in the frontal lobe, so therefore, neurons here send signals to the face or to the hand or to the larynx or to the leg for them to be enabling them, them to move. The same thing with the blue strip here, which is this. This is the sensory homunculus it lays a little bit behind the motor homunculus. So this area enables us to sense from different portions of the body. For example, the leg area is here, the hand is here, and the face is here. Now, can you guess why is the face so much bigger and it has a larger representation on the brain than, let's say, the trunk and the hip? Because there's not there's so much that we do with our face and our lips and nerve endings there, or there's so much we can do with our hands. All this motion, very fine movement, it needs heavier representations on the brain. So in any regard, we got the left hemisphere, right hemisphere, the motor cortex, and the sensory cortex on this video. Hope this helped.